All right, so Georgia's SEC conference schedule has officially dropped. A very, very good schedule. Um, yes, but without the way, um, let's dive right into Georgia's um, conference schedule. Georgia will start conference play January 4th. At Ole Miss, and it's kind of hard because they released the dates very. Um, they released the photo is very very odd, but a great photo nevertheless. Um, so they will we will start conference play at Ole Miss, and then Tuesday, January seventh, or Wednesday, January eighth, Georgia will play Kentucky in. Um, Georgia will play Kentucky in Athens. I'm trying to make sure I'm going in order here, and I believe it is in order. Um, after Kentucky, Georgia will play Oklahoma in Athens. So already a very crucial three-game stretch straight out of the. Gate for Georgia, you're going to Ole Miss, you're going to play Kentucky in Athens January 7th or 8th, and then Janu January 11th, you're playing the new member of the SEC, the Oklahoma Sooners. After Oklahoma, Tuesday, the January 14th or 15th, Georgia will play at Tennessee. Um... I don't like how they're doing just games like you can play this day or that day. They, they could have kind of decided what day they were going to be playing these games, but that's just something I'm, I'm complaining about. Um, after Tennessee, Georgia will then go, let's see, look at the picture. Georgia will then play Auburn in Athens. So Georgia has to beat Auburn eventually sometimes this year. Maybe there's a written version of this that's that's uh that's better. Let me look. Uh there it is, there it is on Facebook. That picture is kinda confusing to read. Let's go to probably sickumdogs.com. Maybe they have um maybe they have a better imaging of this article if not then we'll just go back to where we were but I mean it's kind of confusing to read so yeah they have not updated their website yet so let's, we'll go to georgiadolls.com and see if they uploaded a article for it and I apologize for this but that image was just kind of hard to read Georgia to host five Saturday home dates in SEC basketball the announcement a The announcement included all Saturday games and Tuesday and Wednesday designations for night games, for weeknight games to weekdays. Okay, yeah, this is this is a little more better. After opening league play at Ole Miss on Saturday, Georgia will return to Stegman Coliseum for two game home for for a two game home stand against Kentucky and SC on Kentucky on January seventh and eighth, or an SEC newcomer Oklahoma eleventh. The remaining Saturday home contests include Auburn on January 18th, Mississippi State on February 8th, Missouri on, fe on February 15th, and Vanderbilt on March 8th, the regular season finale. Two, two weeknight outings at Stegman Coliseum also include South Carolina on January 28th or 29th, LSU on February 4th and 5th, and Florida on February 25th and 26th. In, in addition, Georgia's road dates include a trip January 14th, 15th, Arkansas, or uh, January 14th, 15th, Tennessee, uh, January 21st, 22nd, and Arkansas, January 25th on Florida, Alabama. Alabama, February 1st, Alabama, February 11th or 12th, Texas A&M, Auburn, February 22nd, February 22nd or March 1st, or South Carolina, March 4th or March 5th. So that that was probably a more simpler way to look at it, but I will go through the rest of them uh, from this image after Georgia plays Auburn, uh, January 21st to 22nd, they play um they play um, 
Arkansas at Arkansas, January 25th at Florida, January 28th or 29th we will play um, South Carolina in Athens. So oddly, you're only playing. Uh, that's what we talked about when the schedule, the the dates first dropped, that you would only be playing. Texas and Oklahoma once, you know, there was a little, there was a little side of me there. I knew this wasn't going to happen, but there, it was a little side of me saying, "May they make Georgia go to Texas and Oklahoma and don't let them come come to Athens and return?" That obviously is not the case. Um, January 25th, they play Florida. January 28th for 29th, South Carolina. Uh, February 1st, Georgia will go to Alabama. Uh, February 4th or 5th, we'll play LSU at home. Um, Mississippi State, January 8th in Athens. I'm trying to see the date. Um, January, or fe- we're now we're in February. It's so February 8th against Mississippi State in Athens. February 11th for 12th um, versus Texas A&M. Uh, J- January 15th against Missouri in, in Athens. Um, Auburn will play Auburn February 22nd in Auburn. Uh, February 25th for 26th we'll play Florida in Athens. Um, we'll play te- we'll go to Texas March 1st um, and then uh, we'll go to South Carolina either March 4th or March 5th. And then we'll end the regular season at home versus Vanderbilt on March 8th. So, what obviously stands out here, and first off, I, I got to get a pat, a pat on my back. I said earlier this morning, if Georgia wanted to play, beat Kentucky, they need to get Georgia one of the first two games. Their first two games against Kentucky. Did I not say that earlier this morning? Kentucky is the January 7th or 8th game, Georgia's second conference game. Um... Obviously, I think the big games that stand out here are, are obviously playing Kentucky at home. Um, one of my friends who's a Kentucky fan said 70% of the Kentucky game, SEC biggest games is headlined by Kentucky. That might be true, but when you look at Georgia's schedule, you also see some great headline games. And then I don't, Auburn, um, Oklahoma, South Carolina. To me, those are the four biggest home games right here. So Kentucky, a team that you be at home since you have not lost to at home since 2021 or the 2020-21 season, um, Oklahoma, a team you never, never have played often in basketball. They're now in the SEC, so you're going to be playing them at home. Um, Auburn, a game you you pretty much have to win this year. I mean, it's getting really sad that we can't we can't beat Auburn. And then South Carolina. So, and then the away games. Um, obviously, at Alabama and at Texas are or the peak right there. I mean, it would be really, really nice if Georgia could steal one of those games. And then I think at Arkansas and at Tennessee because y- you haven't won there often. Like Georgia's only won in Arkansas probably like once or twice in the. In- Georgia has won in Fayetteville like once or twice, and that's before even including the early 90s when they first joined the SEC. So, um, this is great, man. The, the SEC, and then if you want to other teams, like I believe Texas and Texas A&M will be playing on the very first uh, conference day. So, um, I also like the amount of Saturday home games Georgia will get. And the chances are those will be Saturday night games, so we'll probably at 6 o'clock, 6.30, 7 o'clock on the SEC Network. But, man, what a, we're almost at basketball season, baby. This is wonderful. Um, you know, if I'm looking right now, I'm just, I'm just looking. Uh, Georgia could beat LSU. Georgia could beat Mississippi State. Georgia could beat Missouri. Georgia could beat Florida. Georgia could beat Vanderbilt at home. So then you're looking at South Carolina, Auburn, Oklahoma, and Kentucky. In my opinion, you have to at least split those games. You you either could beat Kentucky and Auburn and lose to Oklahoma and South Carolina. You know you could lose to Auburn and Oklahoma, or you could lose to Auburn and Kentucky but beat Oklahoma and South Carolina there there are all kind of different scenarios there that you could play with um, 
that could, that could define Georgia's season. I mean, greatly, you know, best case scenario, we can undefeated at home, but that's not always going to happen. So I look at the rest of the games outside of those four games, LSU, Mississippi State, uh, Missouri, Florida, and Vanderbilt. So those are automatic Georgia can win those games. If those games were played today, I would have Georgia winning those games. But then you get, like I said, you get those four games against Kentucky, Oklahoma, Auburn, South Carolina. Those are games that you have to split record-wise. You have to go at least two and two, or maybe go, maybe sneak out three and one. Um, you know, Auburn is Auburn. Like, you know, Georgia, we, we can't beat Auburn. Kentucky's a first-year head coach. We beat Auburn sometimes. I'm not saying we can't, but, I mean, on, on paper, when you look at the teams this year, Auburn would probably be the best. If, to, to upset one of these four teams, um, not including South Carolina, so three teams, Kentucky, Oklahoma, or Auburn, your probably best bet is to beat Auburn because you've beat Auburn before. Remember 22-23, the very first um, conference game of the of conference game, Georgia, uh, Auburn walked into Stegman College and got smacked in the face by the dogs. You had Auburn fans wondering, you know, did they, did they really just make the wrong decision <laughs> firing, uh, hiring Bruce Pearl as coach for life? But, you know, I would probably say out of those four games, I mean, at worst, you go 0-4, 1-3 maybe. But I would probably say today, if you asked me today about these this four games right here, I have Georgia beating Kentucky, I have Georgia beating Oklahoma, I have Georgia beating South Carolina, and I have Georgia losing to Auburn. That's how much faith I have in this Georgia team this year. You look at Kentucky, first-year head coach, Oklahoma, an unusual matchup. Um, Auburn, you know, no disrespect to our guys at all. I'm not saying that we can't beat Auburn, but I'm just saying that Auburn probably will be a Final Four to Elite Eight, Elite Eight team this year. And then South Carolina team, you did beat once last year, but it was just reversed. It was on the road. Now the road stretch. Um, first off, I think you have to beat you have to beat either A&M, Florida, Auburn, or Alabama. I mean, I'm getting tired of getting smoked by Alabama every year. Um, we need to win at Fayetteville. We have not won at Fayetteville in forever. Um, it'd be nice to beat Tennessee in, in Knoxville. Um, so out, out of today, I believe the only guaranteed road wins I could give this Georgia team is, pr is probably Ole Miss. Um, you know, it'd be really cool to go into College Station and beat A&M. It'd be cool to go to Gainesville. Like, we've, Georgia has not won in Gainesville since 2000, the, the 2018-19 season. Um... You know that you could probably beat Carolina on the road again. You you maybe could squeak out an upset win against Texas, um, but I mean I look at that for the most part. And you know we might struggle on the road a little bit this year, and that's okay. The SEC is the hardest conference to win in in basketball, and um, you know that's why you got to win. That's why you got to win your home games because you do not exactly know what kind of Road performance you're gonna have. Let's not. I'm not. I am not gonna sugarcoat anything. It has been very tough for Georgia the last six or seven years to win on the road consistently. And you know that's not my opinion. That's a fact. Georgia has not won on the road consistently in a long time. So if I had to choose, so we'll do just like I did home, um, Alabama, Texas. Auburn and Arkansas or Florida. Those are four games I think that Georgia will have to win on the road. Because let's be honest here, guys. If Georgia can't get any road quality, quality road wins, you know, it, say we win all our home games, but we, but but we look soft on the road. You know, that's great. We win all our home games, but we have to win on the road. Um, it, in my opinion. I think with the way that Georgia played Tennessee last year, they could play Tennessee. Um, Georgia should have beat Arkansas in Fayetteville last year. Uh, Georgia should have also beat Florida last year. So then the only ones you really have, South Carolina, uh, Georgia won there last year. Uh, Auburn and Texas A&M. Uh, Georgia got smoked by like 30 or 40 points the last time we played Texas A&M at A&M, the 22-23 season. Then we always struggle against Auburn. 
I would probably say that maybe Georgia, out of all these games, Georgia has the best chance to either win in Knoxville, Fayetteville, so Tennessee and Arkansas, Florida and Alabama. I mean, we saw what Georgia did to Alabama last year. We took, they went on to make the final four and we took them to the wire. But, you know, we'll get to discuss this plenty more in the upcoming months. It's just very happy that Georgia's um, schedule is now officially out. Um, Georgia's, our full schedule is almost out and it should be out within the next one or two weeks. Um, I'm just maybe guessing going based off of last year. It should be out um, but I mean let's go baby. Let's go. I'm, I said it earlier today when we announced the Georgia Tech game. I am ready to go right now. So let's go. Um I just looked on D1 Docket. There has not been any new games announced that I've not already talked about. Um, they have, they are they are adding games to the schedule right now as we speak for the home teams. Um, I'm just kind of looking at everybody else. The ACC has not released theirs yet. The Big East has not released their conference games. The Big Ten has not released their conference games. So. Uh, everybody should be knowing who they're playing very soon. So, But once again, that is Georgia's 2024-25 SEC conference schedule. Um, we, we are so just so excited for basketball season. 76 days away to Georgia takes on Tennessee Tech on November 4th. Um, let's get it, man. I'm, I'm absolutely ready to go. Um... I'm very hyped for this season. I believe in this team very, very much. This will be a good season for Georgia basketball. So if you are a Georgia football-only fan and you've never watched our basketball team, I recommend you do this year because you are going to see Georgia basketball at at its best. So go Hoop Dogs, and that was our that is our schedule, baby. Let's go. Tournament.